this is um, Ocean Spirit down in the viaduct in Auckland and we're very fortunate to have met up with Pete Siglinski who's one of the co-founders of the Seabin project and I'll leave him to tell you um, briefly what that means. Yeah, um, so yeah, hi, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, we're down here in the viaduct, we have the Seabin operating down here and it's been on for about 24 hours. Uh, essentially the Seabin's quite simple in concept. It's a floating rubbish bin. We bring water in from the top, we pump it out the bottom, and in the middle we use a filter to strain out the plastics, the natural debris. We also add an oil pad, uh, which we can get surface oils, pollutants, diesel, all that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, so it just sits in the water 24 hours a day and we change it as needed. So how many have you got already in operation around the world? Uh, around the world we have uh, 254. Uh, mainly throughout Europe, the UK and the UAE. This is the first, I guess, permanent one for New Zealand. Uh, we've got another one in Australia that we're using for demonstration purposes. Uh, and then uh, December, we have a 40-foot container coming with 60 units that we're going to be using for uh, installing in Australia and New Zealand. And yeah, so. We'll and roughly, get how much debris do you think they can collect um, on a daily basis? Uh, so the sea bins can collect on average about three kilos a day of, of marine litter. Uh, some locations will be quite a lot more, some locations a bit less, but after a year and a half of the data collection program we've worked out the average is three kilos. So at the moment we have 254 units in the water so it's around uh, three quarters of a tonne of debris that is being brought out of the water and, and intercepted from going to the ocean to become ocean plastics and who knows what happens after that. Yeah, and this is mainly designed for marinas. Yeah, so the sea bins, um, I, I grew up on the water and sailing and surfing and that and uh, any, anyone that you know spends a bit of time on the water can understand that the ocean's quite a, a hostile environment and so what we did was we knew that if we started in a marina it would be a semi-controlled environment. Right. We don't have ocean storms, we don't have waves, we don't have container ships mm -hmm. going past. Uh, we have a floating dock, we have maintenance, we have the yard staff and the sea bins uh, run by using a, a small water pump which needs electricity Right. Yep. and so we have access to all that and uh, yeah it was the perfect environment. Our goal is to, to get off the dock mm. and then into the open water and that's something that we feel is quite achievable. Yeah, it's a part of the evolution of the sea bin. Well, at Ocean Spirit, we're very excited because we're going to get one for the Tudukaka Marina towards the end of the year. And um, this has been made possible by, by funding and sponsors from Rotary in Whangarei and um, Huanui College and the marina, it's, uh, Tudukaka Marina itself. So we're very grateful to your creativity and your thoughtfulness and your inspiration yeah, that you. um, we, we're going to be recipients of one up in Tudukaka Marina. So. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're actually we're really stoked because uh, one of our goals is to uh, get as many people uh, with as many clients with the sea bins as possible to help with the data collection yep. because until now there is um, it, it, it's, a, it's a bit minimal like what people will know about what's in the water mm. like the microplastics, the amount of nurdles, uh, the you know general water quality and these sea bins are amazing because you put it in the water and it's 24-7 collecting the debris. We can add water sensor technology, um, we can do all sorts of mm. stuff and really educate ourselves and understand you know, what, what's in the water and what the impact is. So yeah, something we're extremely excited about. Yeah, well we're very excited too and then we take it back to ourselves and we go, so how can we alter our behaviour so that thing doesn't get into the water in the first place, so how can we stop using it and then that's a whole other philosophy behind. Um, how we approach things with Ocean Spirit. And now it's starting to rain. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you very much, Pete. It's, it's yeah. fantastic for us to meet you. And um, good luck. Yeah, thank you.